Okay guys, welcome back. I want to preface this video by saying that this is definitely not the video I had planned to make this week. The reason for what you're seeing today is that when we recorded the footage, I somehow managed to not record my microphone or uh, Tombstone's comms. And as such, I've just improvised and made what I could with the footage. That has ended up becoming a time lapse of us getting the nuke with a couple bits left in. That has made the video a little longer. I mean, technically, yes, I could have cut some stuff. But the reason I didn't is because I didn't have the audio to tell me where the funnies were. And as such, I've just left it as a time lapse with the odd little bit left in. And periodically, I'm just going to step in, do a bit of talking to explain what's going on. Just another thing before we get into the video. I want to point out that for the next one, I am going to try and make an actual video, as long as I, you know, remember to record the audio. So, in this game, I got super unlucky with my Wonder Fizz spins, and consistently got dead shot. What you saw there where I got hardline, if I remember rightly, in the actual recording, I did tr also call that, but without the microphone, you're not going to know that. Again, this is my second dead shot. I got super unlucky with dead shot here, so I've just thrown up a little dead shot counter throughout the video. What you are seeing on screen here is a pack of punched org, an org being an uh, assault rifle. Now, normally you would expect an assault rifle to pack a punch into, you know, an assault rifle. No, the, it turned it into a full auto shotgun, which was incredibly balanced and definitely didn't cause any issues with the engine later on. Thank you. 
Now, in this mod, the where we're nuking the maps is when you get to 2,500 kills or 2,000 with Hardline, you get the nuke kill streak. Your streak is reset upon downing. Now, I hadn't thought that I could down there because it's not unreasonable for me to expect to kill things with a pack a punched weapon, is it? Considering it's only round what? 17? Okay, what the hell is this? I have never had such terrible luck with the Wonderfizz machine in a game of zombies apart from this one. I mean, this is in the space of like five minutes getting four dead shots. I, I, I just don't know what, to, what this game wants from me anymore. I realise it might be a little hard to see due to it being sped up, but the reason I don't take stopping power here is because I know that I'm going to get it fairly soon due to the kill streak bonuses anyway. So I figured it was kind of pointless taking it from the wonder of his machine when the game's just going to give me it there. I think these infinite ammo power-ups played a key part in our success because this mod, one of the biggest issues we encountered was the lack of ammo as you, the double tap perk is 1.0 so it's just burning through ammo and a lot of the guns have a high rate of fire but not much ammo in them so we, we were just burning ammo 
for most of the game, and then every now and again we'd get a max ammo if we were lucky. So ammo was our biggest issue, apart from my own incompetence. So at this point we realised we may have caused a few too many particle effects for the engine to handle, as more often than not zombies would just despawn rather than animating to the floor, and we didn't really understand it, however we were absolutely loving the fact that they just sort of popped out of existence. It got a lot more common in the later rounds as more zombies were dying to more particle effects, but you'll see. Yeah, the engine definitely wasn't having much fun here because this is a grenade launcher and the explosions don't always happen. Now, I'm just firing at the floor there and it's not doing anything. 
I... What did we do to Black Ops 3? Oh yeah, and I, I just... I, I thought that... <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious that if you ADS and full auto it with infinite ammo, the, you're actually just aiming through the revolving magazine thingy that it has. Oh, that was great. So, Olya had already gotten his nuke at this point, but we knew that there was a special thing that happened at round 37 and I wanted to see what it was like. That special thing was these Gilded Rangers, which is the death machine power-up in the form of the Rangers, but firing twice as fast and lasting for an incredibly long time. I mean, by now your death machine's already run out normally, but it's still going. Also, I love how much it makes the ragdolls go. Ah, right, it's finally uh, running out now. That, that's good. So, just for a bit of continuity, we decided to meet up at Big Buggy Radio. And then Ollie calls in the nuke, which, for some reason, he calls it in on a phone, then drinks a perk bottle, then we take a stim shot from Modern Warfare, and then we nuke Nack the own turn. Again, for the next video, I'm going to try and remember to record the audio. Uh, it, the next one will be on, I believe, the Rooked. And this has been long, so if you've made it this far, please, in the comments, tell me what you thought. As not only is it a very long video, but it's also the first time I've done a post commentary like this. So just let me know how it went. I want to know if it's something that I should do more in the future. But obviously on something that isn't a planned scheduled edit. One final thing before I sign off, I just want to uh, say that if you're watching this live, 
the moment he up uploads, then this afternoon I'm probably going to be streaming live over on Twitch. Link in description. Anyway, so you, you, you know what I'm about to say, so just, just, just go to it. Bye.